Yeah, it, was a, it was a great game. Anytime, anytime you have two teams lay everything they have on the floor, you can walk away uh, knowing that you did your best. And tonight was one of those games. They did it and we did. We didn't start off well for whatever reason, early start or whatever. But we battled back, we chipped away, we fought, and we made, it, made it an overtime game. We had a chance to win it a bunch of different times. Uh, they did as well. But disappointed that we didn't get to win, but still proud of our guys, the way they battled. And if we keep playing like this, we're going to be in uh, some, a lot of good games and so we're in a good position to keep putting ourselves in the, to win these games in the end. What changed for Brad specifically after what was a pretty rough start? He had a rough start, you know. You're not going to always, um, you're not going to always have a great start. Uh, but I think he has enough, he has enough history that he understands that that he can bounce back with the bad half, and, and he did. Made big shot after big shot after big shot. Um, needed every bit. I needed to play an extra minutes in that second half, and then overtime, obviously, it was extra ten. But he competes. Uh, he puts us in the position to win. And, that's what your all-stars are supposed to do. Scott, what did you see from Otto performance coming out with? Give it energy for the guy. Yeah, no, Otto made, Otto made some uh, big shots for us, big plays. He's uh, rebounding. You know. We had trouble rebounding um, down that stretch. We could have gotten maybe uh, a couple of those rebounds. Maybe the outcome is different. But I thought Otto was uh, good. Otto, Otto was solid. He had, he, had a, he had a couple of looks that I know he wished he could get back that were great looks and great finds and, and especially after the end with uh, I think that was Jeff that was trapped on the right baseline or a little 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 low on the catch but he still had a good look at it. Obviously the result again wasn't what you wanted but what has been in the whole previous play the results you guys had in your performance like this equals loss. Is it sort of change I know you have high hopes because you regardless, but considering the work you've been earlier, does it sort of change kind of where this thing may go going forward? Yeah, I mean, we knew we knew this stretch of games, you know, Oklahoma, Philly, Philly, uh, Milwaukee, uh, Toronto, best teams in basketball. You gotta you gotta step up and 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 play together and play hard for one another, and that gives you a chance. It doesn't guarantee a win, but it gives you a chance to compete for a win at the end of the games, and that's what we did. And we got to take this. Um, Take this type of effort and mentality on the road uh, into our, our home game in London, um, but it's, I think it's uh, it's a good it's a good way uh, to know it's a good feeling to have after a game knowing that we gave everything we have and you don't have to worry about the wins and losses they will all take care of itself. From the momentum from again those past games, this game tonight, the energy, everything, but now you guys have a little break before the next game, so. Do you think that there's anything special to do in the time to kind of keep this energy and momentum going? Yeah, well, we definitely, a lot of guys are going to need a lot of 24-hour a, a rest period. They're going to have to really uh, just relax, and, 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 they, and they deserve it. We've had a, you know, uh, a lot of tough games in, in this stretch, a lot of three out of four games at uh, one time, and then, you know, come back today, early game. So... Did a lot of good things, you know. We, could, we, we didn't get to the free throw line, and when we did, we didn't make them like we normally would. Brad, I don't know if Brad's ever missed uh, four free throws out of seven. Um, but we missed some uh, look, looks to win the game, and you know those are the things that you have to have to be proud of that you got them, and you have to go on to the next game. Yeah, it's true. Without a timeout, it's uh, kind of challenging at that. On that final play, was that the yeah. plan for Jeff to kind of try to throw? Well, we have pass? we have a we have a play, a home run, that, that you probably get to use maybe a couple of times a year. Normally, you would have that timeout, but we had a burn <coughs> one. Um, yeah, I mean, I wish we could have got a look off of it, but that's I mean, if we had so many plays and wish we got the offensive rebounds. I wish we would, um, uh, made a shot here or there down the stretch. Um, made enough of them, but not we needed one more. Uh, does this stretch of games illustrate something about the difference between Toronto and maybe the number two and the number fourteen in the East? You just kind of harder to close out against them or to yeah. play them big games. Well, they're they're this they're I mean they're loaded. They have so many good players, and you know they're um, Van Fleet can even play. And, you know he's a he's a problem, but they have so many good players, and they're athletic, and they switch, and they're I mean they're 
they're long and they can, you know, they, a lot of guys can attack and, and a lot of guys can guard in the perimeter. That's what makes this team, you know, the best team in basketball right now. We have to, we, we, we battled with them, we challenged, we challenged them the best we can, but we came up a little short, but uh, nothing to be, you know, disappointed in, disappointed in the win, but nothing to be disappointed with our effort and, and our toughness that we showed tonight after pretty much a tough start being down 23. Scott, what, uh, you put you went Detroit at the point in the second half. What did you think of those minutes? Yeah, I thought he, I thought he was um, had some good moments, and he had some moments that we can continue to to look at and, and show him and, and teach him. And that's what it's about when you're a young player. You got to learn every time you get minutes, and and then you got to learn every time that you watch guys that are in front of you getting minutes. And that's how you get better, and you do it day to day. And uh, and that's one thing he, he has been doing. With Brad, it's obviously not just <coughs> minutes. He just has an incredible workload right now. Are, yeah. are you going to send him practice this week or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, we're not going. He's not going to do much for the next couple of days. You know, he might get some shots up just to get the, the long flight, the time zone, try to get acclimated as quickly as we can. Uh, but not, he's not going to do a lot. Uh, it's well, I mean, not, not, a lot of our guys aren't going to do a lot the next couple of days. What can you say about his conditioning to be able to make the plays he's making late? Yeah, he's a he's elite. He's an elite athlete and takes pride in what he does. And you know, he's worked hard over the summer. And, you know, it's it's um, making big plays for us. We're obviously we've got a lot of guys missing, but he's stepping up and and putting us in this position to compete every night. It's it's fun. It's fun to coach and it's fun to, to watch him grow as as a player. With the slow start and Otto almost all the way back. He, Think he's gonna start next game or soon? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's yeah, tough loss to think about all the starts now. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thank you.